Let's consider the jump back from Uttanasana, your forward fold at the front of the mat, to plank pose. Or what about Uttanasana to Chaturanga Dandasana? I'm only going to do this once, so watch carefully. It's the jump back from forward fold to plank pose. And just notice in particular how jarring it is on the lower back. So the lower back takes the suspension there versus when we jump from Uttanasana to Chaturanga Dandasana, it's actually the shoulders that take the impact. And although this is potentially injurious, if you've got good, strong, solid shoulders and are able to do Chaturanga anyway, it may be a better option for you. So from Uttanasana to Chaturanga and the weight is taken more in the shoulders and the impact is taken more in the shoulders. So unless you have some amazing Jedi powers that we don't know about, it may be better for you to actually jump back into Chaturanga or stick with the stepping stepping one leg at a time if you're going into if you're going into plank pose don't jump back into plank you yoga rebel you